But I've sent you an email, so watch this video, and then I've given you a whole load of content. And at the very end, I just softly sold to you and said, would you like to become a member after you've watched all of the value? And the same has got to be done for you. You've got to give people value first, actually teach them about PR, give away some little trade secrets, but they're never going to go and do it themselves. But they want to know that you are credible. You've just told me that. That's why I'm doing backstage business, because people want to say, oh, there's an credibility here. And it's this close, now you have actually met me, so that's a little bit different. But if you haven't met me, well, if you've watched, say, 20 of my daily videos, eventually you'll feel like you know me. It's really weird. I go and speak at events, and people are like, oh my God, you're my hero. And I'm like, oh my, in this tiny little niche of only 2,000 views, they're like, where's Chudders? I want to meet Chudders. It's, it's the strangest thing. It's like you, you become what I, the phrase I call it, it's famous to a few, and then you can win. We can be and welcome to Backstage Business with me, James Sinclair, Entrepreneurs Network, and following the party man journey. Yesterday was at Cambridge looking at just how disastrous that fire was to us. And today, I'm back in the office. I've got about eight consultation calls to do, four meetings. It's gonna be a long, long day. Um, and uh, I've got loads of stuff to do in between. So we're gonna be at, you know, just here on this thing, the computer. Uh, but I'll try and get you some value in there, some little learns as well along the way. Let's do it. That's what we need. Back of there. It's all right. He's got his camera. I've got my camera. It's all right. So the leisure business is doing all the marketing yeah. for this strong residual income. Yeah. So Chandler's just had a meeting with a big commercial landlord that want us to look at taking over a site. We're looking for something new here, Chandler's indoor golf. There I am, look at that tiger woods. <laughs> we just practiced. Hit the hanging basket. Um, so yeah, that was that, and uh, try and do a deal with them. If they don't want to do the deal, we just walk away, Chandler's. Plenty more buses coming along. What do I always say, Chandler's? Or what does Richard Branson always say? Business opportunities like buses. There's always another one coming along. We're, yeah, we're just very, very pragmatic about this thing. You know, we, if we can't do it, and they don't want to do it, walk away and wait for the next one. Come on. I'd be going onto Instagram. I would be going onto Facebook, seeing who's got 100,000 followers, who's done, you know, 100 videos on, YouTube and the reason people don't want to do this thing is because they don't get instant gratification from it. I do PR as well. I've been, you know, real, real business have wrote an article about me. I don't care. No one's bloody read it. And you know, no, if I go and put a video up and I get 100 views on YouTube, that means far more than. So Sunday Times wrote a bit about us last week. No one cared. No one said anything about it to me. But has someone come? I saw you put on Instagram. Saw you put on Facebook. Saw you put on YouTube every day. Even you. You got on the phone to me and said, "I've been watching all your videos." You, you haven't said, "I've read that bit in the Times about you." You haven't seen said, "Oh, I've read that bit in Real Business about you." No. If I buy two newspapers a year, that's extreme. 
If I go on the Daily Mail website, that's extreme. But all I'm trying to say to you is that the, the people that are young people that I think are going to be really interested in this health conscious thing, they're on social media for that sort of thing. And and the, I still think you need to do all the, the old fashioned stuff like the press, the Daily Mail and all this sort of thing to give you some credibility. But the credibility needs to go into your social efforts. Like what you've just said to me there, have you promoted it? Yeah, we'll promote in social media. Did you read our bit on the Times? Just to give us a bit of credibility. I call it OST management, objectives, strategies, and tactics. So objective first, then the strategies and tactics. It's like, it's like fighting a war with no objective. So you, you just carry on fighting. You win all these battles, but you never win the war. And, and what you're doing is you're winning battles. Oh, the first time I've watched TV, I would say in the last four months, was the Britain's Got Talent final because there's a magician in there that I want to watch. Why do you want to be on TV? Like it's, it's YouTube is where it's at. Facebook videos, are like, and it's like one day I'll be on TV and it stops you from doing the proper hard work. Like, do get on Instagram, get on LinkedIn, get on, and and if you can't do these things because you haven't got time, see all of the EN's growth has come. And, and the conversations we have is coming from videos. We're getting masses of views, actually. Let me be honest here. If you add up, if we put a video out, we get 2,000 views across LinkedIn, Facebook video. Um, we, put the, we upload the same video to YouTube, then upload it to Facebook as well. But the conversations that we're having on the back of it, because it's regular, I mean, you know, we, we, we're filming every single day. But when I started EM, it was just me holding my iPhone, shakily doing a shaky video selfie. The content was still good. Now, you could go to the Apple shop. I've got one. It's £40 for a really good, decent tripod. And you could just put it in your kitchen and say, hey. Chad, it hasn't really been a day of fantastic content for viewers of EN. I mean, people might disagree. Just had a, a meeting with Zoe, fantastic EN member, trying to help her with negotiations on a, a new lease that she's signing. I was adding my value in there. If you're ever renting, gang, a little quick thing for you if you're ever renting property and stuff, always ask for monthly and advance rent rather than quarterly and advance rent if you're renting premises or anything like that. It's a big win for me that. No one wants to be paying quarterly and advance rent, especially when you start a business. You want to regularise your cash flow and lots and often, little and often payments rather than lumpy payments leaving the bank. A big tip, and that goes for everything. You know, and the more that you can systemise the cash leaving a business, little and often rather than large and not so often, um, is not something I'm a fan of. So let's remember that, Chubbington. Little and often, um, not big amounts. Quarterly, can't stand that. So you can get your rent monthly in advance or weekly in advance um, on your premises. I'm a massive fan. Of, I can't stand all this quarterly stuff. And the same with any bills. Any bills, Chuddles. The more you can get them systemised into the business, the more that you can create a lean, mean machine. Um, and I think that wraps up this backstage business. I hope you enjoyed what we're seeing here today, guys. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow, as we always are. Say later. Yes, everyone, Cornetto. It's a sunny day, Chubbers. I'm doing alright with the fatness.